Today I'm gonna to share with you a trick to create amazing color effects in Photoshop. So let's jump straight in. Let's skip the intro today. So first of all, we have this image and you can download this photo using the links in the description. And let's create an adjustment layer and let's use the adjustment layer called gradient. Now, if you have a look closely at the adjustment layer drop down or drop up panel, they have actually grouped the adjustment layer according to the work they do. So have a look what Adobe has done. So these adjustment layers are just for filling purposes. The solid color fills it with a solid color, the gradient fills it with a gradient and the pattern fills it with a pattern. And you have tons of them. So have a look, brightness, contrast, levels, curves, exposure, they pretty much do the same thing. Modify the highlights, shadows and midtones. These are related to colors, vibrance, hue saturation, black and white colors and black and white, everything that has to do with colors, these adjustment layers deal with that. And these are invert, posterize, different effects. Okay, so let's choose gradient. Just like solid color, gradient also does the filling job. But in this, unlike solid color, it allows you to fill with a gradient. So let's choose gradient. And right now, there's a normal gradient from black to transparent. And that's why you see black to transparent in here. Now you can choose any gradient you want. By clicking here, you can choose any gradient you want. Also, what you can do, you can choose the style. Now there are different styles. Linear, this is the linear style. And radio, radio is circle, okay? Black to transparent, circle, black to transparent. Okay, then you have angle, angle works like this. If I choose something like black to white, you'll have a better understanding of what's actually happening. Click OK. This is the angle, this is the radial, this is the linear and reflected. It's just gradient, repeated again, reflected. OK, so this is the gradient. It's just, just a mirror of that. OK, then we have the diamond and that's pretty much it. But we're going to use the linear and radial the most. In this example, just the linear. So just single click on this and choose any one you like. I like this one and click OK. Now you can change the angle or do whatever you want. Okay, so these are the angles. If it's like zero degree, it's vertical. If it's 90 degree, it's horizontal. And you basically have the idea. Click OK, I just wanted to show you. Actually, we do have to change the blend mode. Click OK, change the blend mode to soft light. You can try overlay, you can try different blend modes. But for this example, let's choose soft light. Instantly, it has created an amazing effect before after. Now, what you have to do, just double click on this and you can modify the colors, modify the angle. For example, the light is coming from this direction, so I'll modify the angle like this. I think there's too much of a blue here. So we want to drag the orange a little bit downwards. So here's what we do. Just single click on this and just drag the orange a little bit to the left, just like that. And we're pretty much done. Now, if you want to just edit this, you can do that. Bring the blue a little bit to the left or the orange. How you want to mix it, it's totally up on you. Maybe I'll bring it a little to the left, just like that. And that's something which I like. Click OK. You can try in different ones, radio, angle, whatever you want. Click OK once you're satisfied. And always lower down the opacity. Have a look at the before and after. Before, after. Really interesting. Just one click, one adjustment layer makes your image really interesting. Now you can use it in any image that you want. This might not be the perfect image for you, but try it on your image. This is an amazing effect. I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks and tutorials. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.